hello everyone welcome to our today's lesson today i would want us uh, to look at how we compute the steady equilibrium vector in a markovian scenario steady equilibrium vector steady equilibrium vector now ladies and gentlemen i would want us to make reference to this particular question which was tested on december in december 2013 question number 1c december 2013 question number 1c for those of you who have bought our revision kits our revision kits simply go to page number 9 our revision kits go for 1100 you can get them from textbook center savanis or better still come to rcm college stan bank house mr price you'll be able to get your copy there from us directly from us directly so page number nine are done part one and two of this question i would want us to go straight away to roman three which is uh, the concept of today the steady state total monthly cost of the hospital the steady state total monthly cost of the hospital ladies and gentlemen for us to be able to get this steady state which is also known as an equilibrium vector the only thing that i would require for computations of the steady equilibrium vector is a transition matrix that matrix which contains movements of subjects of analysis so here we are we have our transition matrix we have our transition matrix here transition matrix which is uh, from we have from we have in this case here ICU HDU and the general ward we have ICU HDU and the general ward so they have told remember ladies and gentlemen uh, something about this transition matrix we are capturing movements of states of subjects of analysis from one state to the other from one state to the other so here we are we are told in note number one note number one note number one we are told here that 50 percent of the patients in icu at the beginning of the month will remain in icu so you can see from icu to from icu to icu icu to icu from icu to icu 50 percent will be left in icu so 50 percent will be left in icu 50 percent will be left here in icu 50 percent in icu and then we are told and gentlemen that 50 percent will leave icu for hdu so from icu to hdu is 50 percent so these two have taken care of uh, the 100 percent so it means that there is nobody who moves from icu to general ward we are told in note number two, note number two, note number two of uh, our RCM's revision kit, RCM's revision kit here, we are told note number two, 10% of the patients in HDU at the beginning of the month will be transferred to ICU by the end of the month, whereas 50% will remain in HDU and 40% will be transferred to general ward. Movements from HDU, 10% of the patients in HDU at the beginning of the month will be transferred to ICU. So from HDU to ICU, 10%. And then 50% will remain in HDU. So HDU, HDU, 50%. And then 40% will be transferred from HDU to general ward, 40%. How about from general ward, movements from general ward? From general ward, we are told 85% of the patients in the general ward at the beginning of the month will remain in general ward at the end of the month. So general ward, general ward, what percentage? 85%. And we are told that 10% will be taken from general ward to HDU. General ward to HDU is 10%. We have in this case here general ward to ICU. General ward to ICU is 5%. 5%. So I want to come straight away and capture this T matrix of mine in form of decimals. So the T basically will be 0 0.5, 0 0.50. We have 0 0.1, 0 0.5. 0 0.4 we have 0 0.05 we have 0 0.1 and then 0 0.85 now ladies and gentlemen for us to be able to get the equilibrium vector what i would want to do is to define 
our save vector steady equilibrium vector our save row vector so remember save we normally define it on the basis of the columns the columns of the transition matrix so column number one takes the unknown x column two takes y and then the third column the third column given that the third column is the balancing figure it will be one minus these other proportions one minus x minus y so how do we define this save unknowns if for example we had only two columns this one here would have been x two columns only the last column here would have been the balancing the last column is the one where we capture our balancing the last column here would have been one if this is x this one here would have been one minus what here one minus x very very important for you to understand that now remember what you want to get is the equilibrium state at equilibrium at equilibrium there is a very important model we should understand at equilibrium save times t should always be equal to save at equilibrium save times t should always be equal to save fortunately we have our save here which is x y 1 minus x minus y multiply this by the t matrix which will be 0 0.5 0 0.50 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.05 0 0.1 0 0.85 this one here if you multiply the two we'll end up getting x y 1 minus x minus y like that so please go ahead and multiply for us so multiply for us what do we have remember in matrix multiplication we normally talk of a roman catholic a row multiplies a column so then the first one here will be first one's multiplied will be 0.5x plus 0.1y plus the third one multiplied by this so straight away this will be 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05x minus 0 0.05y should be equal to what on this other side should be equal to the first one here which is x so remember here we have got two unknowns that is x and what here x and y so I need to form two equations. So the second equation will be formed by us taking this row by this column. So this will be 0.5x plus 0.5y plus 0 0.1, because this 0 0.1 is multiplying each one of these, minus 0.1x minus 0.1y should be equal to the second one here, which is y. Now from there, ladies and gentlemen, simply come and give us our simplified equations put like terms together so we have here the simplified equations so simplified equations what do we have like i can see this x term and this one and this one those are like terms we put them together so we'll have here 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 0 0.05 this x has got to cross over once it crosses over it will be negative one so minus one which gives us minus point 5x. From there we have the y terms and I can see there are only 2.1 and minus 0 0.05 which will give us plus 0 0.05y. Should be equal to the only constant that we have on this side which has to cross over will be equal to minus 0 0.05. Equation number one. From equation number two. Equation number two from this what do we have here somebody I can see 0.5x here I can see minus 0.1x. So that will give me 0.4x plus, I can see three y values, so we have here 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1 minus 1 because this y has to cross over, so it becomes minus y, which is the same as minus 1, that gives me minus 0 0.6, minus 0 0.6, what here, y should be equal to the only parameter that we have here, which is the constant that has got to cross over, will be this 0 0.1, which becomes minus 0.1. Okay, so I would want to eliminate, to eliminate, I would want to see whether uh, we talk of uh, 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.05. That if I multiply equation number 1 by 12, equation number 1 by 12, that is 0 0.05 times 12, then I'll be able to eliminate, I'll be able to eliminate this y. So come and talk about equation number 1, but multiplied by 12. So equation number 1 multiplied by 12, what do we have? 0.55 
times 12. Remember, it's all the numbers you're multiplying. So it becomes minus 6.6x. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This one here plus 0.6y. Of course, you would take this times 12. 0 0.05 times 12. It gives me plus 0.6y. Should be equal to minus, we have here minus 0 0.05 times 12 again, which gives me minus 0 0.6. What here? Six. So come here, I want to eliminate y. For us to eliminate y here, let us uh, add the 2. Because they have values of uh, opposite signs. We add the 2. So when you add the 2, what do you get? 0.4 minus 6.6. .6. That will give us minus 6.2x equals minus 0.1 plus minus 0.6, which gives me negative 0 0.7. So implying that my x will be 0 0.7 divided by 6.2 which will give me 0 0.1129. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once I get uh, x, it will be very easy for us to get y. To get y, I'll come to any of these two equations. To any of these, can even use the very first equation we had there, which was uh, minus 0 0.55. Instead of x, now we talk of 0 0.1129. Plus 0 0.05y, which will be equal to minus 0 0.05. So first of all, multiply this. This will be minus 0 0.55 times 0 0.1129, which gives me negative, negative 0 0.062095 plus 0 0.05y equals negative 0 0.05, negative, negative 0 0.05. So take this to the other side, it will be a plus, so times minus 1, it will be a plus, minus 0 0.05, and then the final answer, of course, I want y alone. I'll come and divide this by 0 0.05, which gives me a y factor of 0 0.2419. And then now we have the last one. There are three values. The last one, of course, you know that x plus y plus the third value should be exactly equal to 1. Therefore, talk of 1 minus x minus y. So this will be 1 minus 0 0.1129 minus 0 0.2419, 0 0.2419 which gives me 0 0.6452. So in the long term, we are able to see those three percentages. That in the long term, IC will be having approximately 11.29, HD will be having approximately 24.19, and then we have a general ward which will carry the bulk of uh, these patients, which will be 64.0 what year? 0.52. So converting this to cost is fairly a straightforward thing. What you need to do is to appreciate the total number of patients we have in the hospital, and then you multiply by those percentages times the cost. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to advise you, especially those of you who are far away from Nairobi, to ensure that you become family members of this RCM Afri School online classes. RCM Afri School online classes. For you to get more information about them, please call this number 0719. 525,000, 0719, And for those of you who are in Nairobi and who have got time to come for classes, please join us at RCM College Stanbank Branch. Mr. Price, Mr. Price, first floor. First floor, ask for RCM. You'll be able to get us there. Better still, please consider buying our Casneb revision materials. These are books with them. You can never, ever go wrong. Anything RCM, 